You can struggle and not even believe in socialism. And we want to have that united front to defend immigrant rights, African Americans against police violence, uh, you know, for jobs. And there are going to be big struggles for all of this, and we're going to try to unite socialists and communists. Communists, true communists, will try to unite with all people and win them over through discussion. It's in the struggle when you get a chance to talk to people, mm -hmm. when you're on the barricades together, on the picket lines, on that bus to Washington, when you had good discussions going on, that you can explain a lot of the stuff we're talking about here. And when we can't do it, we have a great newspaper that goes out every week that you can give to people. And if you don't have the paper, make sure you get a copy or even a subscription. But we're going to have to end. It's almost 8 o'clock. Could I ask one more question? I Real quick. Okay, on the tea okay party, and then Debbie can okay. ask. On the, on the Tea Party thing, I have read that there's a strategy going on that because there are so many of these crazy people that would vote in error, that they would vote in error for the Tea Party, that it's a strategy to get them on the ballot in order to split the Republican vote for this coming fall. So is that a good idea or not? You know, if I, in other words, if somebody hands me the petition, should I or should I not? Sign it, or all of us. Should I start a good idea on this? They won't vote me public. Uh, you know what? That's up to you. I don't. Okay, okay. I'm not having anything to do with okay, it. Okay. You know, I don't want to encourage them. Someone has the petition. I'll argue with them on why they should become socialists and communists and give up their uh, ridiculous mm -hmm. ideas. And this whole Tea Party movement is racist. If they're and if they're any good. They'll understand that, and if they're not any good, then I wasted a few. They may be stuff. being paid to do this, and they, they may don't be. care. Yeah. That's true. It may yeah. just be a job. No. I want to thank everybody. Like I said, we want to have a discussion. Oh, I'm sorry, David. Go ahead. Well, I have not nothing deep. I just want to say, uh, Sandra, I did. I remember when I had sociology in college. I remember you talking about a market, but I didn't pay attention to all of that. So. I really, you know, and um, yeah, I had a little studying about Johnny Gold and debt like you guys. Well, and we don't, and, uh, it doesn't Sandra, just. I just said, you're right. I, when I was in college, I did have, um, they did teach us about Marcus. In the book, we had, it, it was like, you know, you have a uh, chapter about something. Yeah, we did, but I didn't ever take it serious. I didn't know what it was Just about. a chapter? Well, it might have been, you know what I'm Well, saying. you know what, um, and then everybody second, Marcus, Then secondly, I wanted to say, my stuff is not heavy. Secondly, I wanted to say someone had told me, I don't know if they was just kidding with me or what, but they was helping Polish people, this African-American guy said he used to help Polish people, they was immigrants, and how the um, Homeland Security had told him to get his black such and such in, or they would, uh, they would find him dead for helping these um, immigrants or whatever. So I was just thinking when he was telling me, Something he was he was telling me the story, whatever, and I was thinking, man. So maybe um, a lot of these homeland security and the people that's doing this is really also they got a lot. Of, they not just doing it, but it's a little racism in this. Well, that's what with, yeah. with, the, with the Mexican no, no. with the with the Mexican people. No, no. We bring okay, okay. Jerry, Jerry, the well, next one, then I'm done. Yeah. I'm yeah, totally done. Idea. Okay. The, the another thing I wanted to say. Um, I was listening well, we to Fargo, um, um, Jeffrey Figer, and he was saying that um, that they tried, the police tried to use, um, trying to cut, like using the, the father and all the other people to try to make it the same. He says two different subjects about mm -hmm. trying, you just trying to um, blow it up so people can just ignore what, what mm -hmm. you guys done to uh, Ayana. And then I was thinking, man, um, the police officer, the chief police, or whoever the person was who reported the story, he knew the truth. He came right on TV and lied. That's so unethical for them to do. That is a lie. And um, and then then for um, the um, the mayor and the um, and Evans to come and and back up the lie. Uh, but yeah, people need to resign because it's wrong. And we're gonna have a meeting specifically they need to resign. on that. They need to coming to that. Meeting. We're gonna have a meeting next week at uh, 7 p.m. at this office on police killing of Ayanna and the economic crisis, how they're related. Derek, you were trying to... We were trying to... Derek, we'll be here to tell the real
Yeah, yeah for, for you, Debbie and, and Sandra, and for anybody else who really want an introductory, uh, the guy that he introduced, Leroy, Michael Parenti, has that book, Reds and Fascism, I think that's the name of it. Also, there's a book called uh, Democracy for the Few, and really it's like an introductory into what actually capitalism and communism and all that. You know, when I was, you know, when I was 18, this. I was in news and public. You know, they talked about it too. They was Let me mention, highly illustrious. Let me mention this. On weeks we don't have a public meeting with prepared speeches and all that, we're going to try to do discussion. Uh, this was a little bit prepared because I had done a little preparation. But if folks have questions, you know, you can direct them to Derek or me or Kevin or whoever is at the office. Team. And, and we can prepare. We'd like to have a discussion, some kind of meeting every week. The political movement is heating up, people. The economic crisis yeah, will put people yeah. into motion. Yeah, it will put the workers and the oppressed Black. into motion. Mm -hmm. And we need to be on top of our game and understand a lot of the history and the lessons and do this stuff.